This is the Healthcare Marketplace Specialization, Healthcare Marketplace Overview. I'm Steve Parenti, and this is Module 5.1.1, the globalization of the medical industry. So when we think about this notion of a giant global worldwide medical industry, uh, we need to think about two several premises, two key premises. First is that human disease and healthcare needs are not restricted uh, within national boundaries. They clearly across the globe, and that access delivery of care is a fundamental necessity for all human beings. Pretty much that's unequivocal no matter what your political party. Human creativity is not also not restricted within national boundaries, and the development of care uh, can occur anywhere around the globe as well. So when we think about um, getting health care, one of the conventional wisdom is that we're trying to buy the best that money can buy. And as a result, we find many uh, wealthy foreign patients uh, that are coming from the Middle East, Europe, Latin America, Caribbean, traveling to the U.S. for the best care that money can buy. They pay cash up front for state uh, United States surgery and routine checkups. Uh, many U.S. hospitals are both catering to and profiting from wealthy foreign patients. You see a place like Mayo Clinic, Johns Hopkins University, uh, MD Anderson uh, in Texas all doing uh, this type of thing, and also the Cleveland Clinic. Large medical centers offer concierge services that cater to traveling uh, families, whether it be banking, dining, and uh, shopping desires. Uh, Johns Hopkins uh, Medicine International, for example, has full-time, 50 full-time and 45 on-call interpreters. Mayo Clinic a little smaller, 38 full-time and 25 on-call employees. Cleveland Clinic, 35 staff interpreters, and Texas Medical Center, 10 full-time folks and 25 bilingual staffers. So this is just in 2006. The scope of this has gotten much bigger since then. So when we think about the notion of medical tourism, it's a different concept. Globalization is where you can pretty much get your care wherever you want, uh, but increasingly we're finding nations such as Thailand, India, Taiwan are pursuing this idea of a medical tourism strategy where it's actually a form of economic development. So in this instance, Americans can travel to these countries for surgery, as varied as hip replacement, heart bypass, plastic surgery for a fraction of similar cost to be paying in the United States. These self-paying Americans are sure to find these arrangements attractive, particularly if they're going more into consumer-driven health plan, as argued by uh, Greg Scanlon in Health Affairs in 2005. And, and essentially, we're finding that informed, motivated consumers and those that also have resources can have an impact on the entire medical system and to the extent possible, walk with their feet to get the care that they need. This includes uh, this lecture focusing on the introduction to um, the global marketplace in healthcare.